Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Antique and Garden Showcase. This video is going to be kind of a mishmash of different things. I'm actually in my neighboring town of Lexington, Kentucky. This morning, I had to take a family member over for a medical appointment, and they just kind of said, well, why don't you go on and do some of the things you want to do on down the Richmond Road corridor here. So I'm stopping in a few big box stores looking for a few different things while I'm out and about today. So I'm going to take you along and then may do a few things when I get back home. We'll just see. Like I said, this video is going to be a, a mixture of different things. So here we go. So the first stop at Ollie's Bargain Outlet turned out to be a good one. I found this really neat little galvanized bucket in there. It's got little dividers, so I could put plant labels, maybe um, pruners and utensils, different things that I want to just carry around out there to kind of get me organized a little better. By the time I got out the door, three people asked me where I found these and were wanting to get one for themselves, so this was kind of a neat purchase. $5.99, I thought, well, galvanized, made in India, neat little piece. So, success on the first part of this trip today. So I typically have a lot of good luck at Ollie's, and one of the things that I buy there quite a bit are the Vietnamese pottery uh, planters. They were really low on those back there, but I have a couple of yellow ones that I will show you uh, when we do get back home. So talking about Vietnamese pottery, um, if you're ever online, Google uh, Gardens of Vietnam and also Vietnam Pottery, and you'll see some of the beautiful things that they have there. Uh, some of you that watch other channels uh, know about the aqua pots, and the aqua pots are actually made in Vietnam, the outside, the, the porcelain parts of that. I like to look at those at Ollie's. They're not uh, aqua pots, but they are beautiful pottery pieces that you can get there, and I hook mine up to drip system anyway, so I don't really need the aqua pot portion, and I still get the beautiful outside containers and uh, you know, that are functional for me. Now we're gonna take a trip inside Lowe's. I wanna see what's going on in here, see what kind of things I can find in their garden center. Maybe some good markdowns, maybe some unusual things. So far I've come up empty handed, especially Home Depot it was kind of disappointing. Um, nothing different than what I could find at my normal uh, hometown locally run greenhouse. So here we go, see what Lowe's has got. All right, so right off, I can't even get in the garden center from outside. I'm gonna have to go through the store. They've got it closed off today, but outside they do have a few things and tables and some trees and things we can look at out here. And they say mammoth elephant ears. They're not kidding. Look at these things. This thing looks as big as a basketball. I've never seen elephant ear bulbs this huge before. Makes me wonder what the plant would actually do. If I had the spot, I'd pick one up for curiosity's sake. So no proven winter's plants in here yet, unless they've got them in hiding, probably for the cold. But a lot of pretty things out here as well. This red heavenly bamboo firepower is really striking. Really neat color pop. And they've got some nice roses and evergreens. I hope they protect these tonight. Well, I've come up one for three so far this morning. Not too much luck. Found the really nice little galvanized bucket there at Ollie's. But I thought I would stop here at Wilson Nursery in Lexington. They have kind of an outpost. They have a larger nursery in Frankfort, Kentucky, the capital of Kentucky. But there's a smaller one here, and I thought, well, I'll check it out. They have built a couple of greenhouses since I was here last. Let me flip the camera around. So as I'm looking out my window, I see a couple of new greenhouses here that I've not been in before and they've kind of upgraded this place a little bit so i thought well i might i need to kill a little bit more time so i'm going to check this out and see what it's like i'm going to do voiceover on the first part of this because i had, there was an employee there that was kind of watching me video and i didn't want to look kind of crazy while i was doing this anyway they had a lot of beautiful succulents and house plants um in there you can see just an overall view of the different things that were in the greenhouse there were uh, really neat uh, things labeled. They had like the pepperomi, pepperomia there. Um, I was actually looking for a Tratoscantia that I can't find anywhere and I thought maybe I might find it here. I'm not sure if I will. But uh, there was the string of teardrops and these were really pretty. They had the string of pearls and some of the others as well but I looked on some of the string of pearls and they were rather expensive. I think they were close to almost $15 for a four inch container so that was a little on the pricey side but the one thing that I did notice about this greenhouse is that they had a lot of unusual varieties that you don't see anywhere else 
things were very well taken care of and you know that kind of plays into things quite a bit the displays were beautiful i mean look at the end cap displays there really beautifully put together and then this orchid display was so nice it even had like a really tranquil little fountain over here running just a little tabletop that was really pretty right beside it there and moving on down they had a lot of perennials and a lot of annuals on the floor and they told me they're going to be moving a lot of the things on the tabletops outside once the weather breaks and putting the annuals inside and a few proven winners things as well there okay this stop was worthwhile i did find the tritus gancha the rainbow zebra that i've been looking for look at that isn't that great that is going to go home with me today I just wanted to take a moment and look at the air plant display. Look at how gorgeous this is. Really nice greenhouse here, y'all. If you have a chance to visit them, it's well worth your time. That bloom just needs to be mentioned. Look at the peonies blooming in this greenhouse. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. Look at this one. Really neat color. I think there's even some yellow over here. home from today's journey to Lexington and I did come home with just the pink tritoscantia vine which I'd been looking for forever I was very excited to find that and also the uh, little organization caddy and I'm going to use that organization caddy over on my shelves where I have uh, my grow lights and things I've got a lot of things just laying around over there that need to be organized and uh, we're going to take that and make that a little bit better over there let me show you what I've got over here so as you can see, there's a disorganized mis mis mishmash of things over here. I just got a bunch of little tools in, small tools to work on my plants here. So I've got those, and then I've got some drip tubing. I've got labels, I've got scissors, I've got all sorts of things. So we're gonna organize these things into that bucket and get rid of some of this mess that's just everywhere on the shelves here. Needs a nice cleanup day, that's for sure really happy with that that's a neat neat piece that was rainbow zebra tritoscantia can't wait for that to grow and put that in maybe a mixed pot of different things to be really neat looking so these are the things that i hope to get into my new little organizational bucket here got my mini tools got some plant wire all these things here i've got uh, sticky traps there for gnats and then these pruners that I use around. So I want to see if most all this stuff will fit neatly in here, which I think it will. I think the back will be great for putting small tools in. Maybe also my pruners as well. It was really weird that I had Three people asked me where I found this in the store before I got to the checkout counter practically with it. It is a handy little piece, especially when you have a disorganized shelf like mine over there. Uh, some scissors. I've got my longer plant tags. I think those will go over there neatly. The tapes and those things may not. Let me put those somewhere else. I don't know. We'll see. And these plant tags get them all out of here I'm starting to do some work with the drip system I'm planning over here on the other side of the table as well so lots going on right now a lot of cleanup Let's see I think these plant tags will fit nicely right in the middle there I keep those for seed trays and whatever else but yeah that's gonna work out beautifully 
cleans that whole area up. And I'll put those random long ones I have over here on this side. And then these little dinky ones I got and some kit of things I'll just drop down in there. All right, look at that. The perfect little tool for the job. I am so glad I stopped there and picked this up today. What a neat little thing to have to organize with. Well, that's where I'm gonna end today. I'm kind of tired after driving to another county and taking care of some other things today. So I hope you found something in this video that you enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching Antique and Garden Showcase. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to see more content. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.